Hey guys, are you afraid? Because you know, I'm looking at Isaiah 35 and it says, Say to those with fearful heart, be strong, do not fear. Sounds pretty easy, right? Well, I like to connect this to Pavlov. Pavlov was this guy um, who had a bunch of dogs. Everybody knows Pavlov and his dogs, if you know anything about Pavlov. And what he would do is that he would feed them at the dinging of a bell. He would ding the bell and then he would feed them. And then, you know, like later on, whenever the, you know, after he's been doing this for a while, the dogs would hear the bell and they associated that with food. And so whenever, you know, you think about it, this is like the, he dinged the bell and then he started measuring how much did they salivate, right? How much were they ready for food? And he found a lot, a big increase, of course, because they were associating the two things together. A big problem that we have is that we associate a lot of negative things with fear. And I think just like Pavlov, we can train ourselves to do something different, right? So whenever you have that fear, what are you doing, right? We can train ourselves, right? And we can, we can make that choice because it says to the fearful heart. That means the fear is already inside of them. Hey, be strong. Do not fear, right? So what we need to do is we need to make a choice. Whenever fear hits us, we need to train ourselves to say, okay, hmm, fear has hit me. You know, like what am I going to do? I'm going to go at it, right? We, I have another one that's about go at fears, right? I, or maybe you train yourself to say, you know what? I'm going to worship. I'm afraid. I'm going to worship. I'm going to take my eyes off of this situation. I'm going to put them on God, right? But whatever it is to, to not live in fear and to be, you know, like uh, holding on to fear means that you are spending your time training yourself to not be stuck on that not be stuck on fear. So whenever fear hits you, all of a sudden, boom, I have a different reaction because I've trained myself, just like the dogs. The, the bell doesn't feed them, but they associate the two together, right? Fear doesn't control us. We associate that with it's time to move, it's time to worship, it's time to do something, right? So that being said, don't let fear control you. Thanks for taking a minute.